Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name's Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Straight away, straight away, Vinny's gone from lying down on the floor to getting up and staring at me. Straight away. Do you think maybe he thinks I'm talking to him? It could be, couldn't it? Maybe if I put some, get some little, I wonder if there's any such thing as dog headphones. So I could put them on him and he could listen to music. Or he could watch TV without me interrupting because I've actually got the boxing on right now. It's the prelims. It's on YouTube, but it's the prelims to the Joyce, Joe Joyce and uh, Chisora a fight in tonight and that starts in about an hour and a half I think <sighs> don't know what I'm going to eat hmm anyway one of the funniest things happened last night and I wish I'd had it I wish I had it on film it's it's, it's to do with uh, little Vinny so we're in the park it's the end of the day, so it's getting pretty nearly dark at this point, and it's the last last uh, walk of the day. I'm normally in bed by ten, ten ish, just on a normal day. But uh, on a Friday night and a Saturday night, usually, although it won't be the case tonight, because I'll be watching the boxing. But usually, I like to go to bed for ten so I can listen to. Um, Oh, I've got this name now. This is terrible, isn't it? Excuse me. Um, Chris Abbott, Rob Abbott, Steve Abbott, Steve Abbott, Tim Abbott, whatever his name is, who does the radio show. That's ridiculous. I'm going to have to check that up because I, I, I listen to him every weekend. LBC Abbott. LBC Abbott Nick Abbott blimey I should know his name because I listen to him <laughs> three times a week for years it's just his name went out of my head it's all part of you know I can't remember what it is what was I, what was I talking about <laughs> so um, Vinny so I, I, basically there's the here's a weird one actually I got an email or well, it wasn't an email it was a Facebook message from a neighbour who's got a bit of a thing going on with another person over a dog situation and he contacted me and said uh, just like his mum wanted to I think talk to me or something because I know them and I see them quite. I've seen them for a year. Well, since I've had Vinny, Vinny loves their dog. It's not just another little dog. It's very friendly. Anyway, so I replied to that. Ironically, they were in the park when I went there, so that was strange. So we're just talking. Their dog's barking because there's another dog in the distance, just getting excited. So is. That is this bloke and his mum so there's only one dog they've got two dogs usually but one was at home more information than he needed they had torches does that help for the story <laughs> for the visuals out there anyway this uh, the dog dropped the ball so he gave the, do the dog his dog a ball, a ball to play with so that he'd perhaps be distracted you know he dropped the ball because he likes to play. He likes to play with the ball and to share it. Finney grabbed it, right? And I don't even, I'm not even joking. He ran. But not in a way you think. He ran home. Or he tried to run home. He li <laughs> I don't know what, it's just hilarious to watch. Because he couldn't get too far because of the lead. But he just ran on the pathway 
And I thought, okay, I'll run behind him, see where he's going. Out of the park, he went. He was heading home. Didn't look back. It wasn't like playing, like chase me, chat. None of that. He just stole the ball, had it in his mouth, and was running. Couldn't believe it. There was no, like, there was no, like, honestly, it wasn't like a game. He literally stole the ball and ran, hoping to keep it. He's got balls up here that he doesn't even touch. I couldn't believe it was, honestly, he kept trying to pull it out of the park because he wanted that ball so badly. And eventually I got it out of his mouth. He, well, he let me because if he wouldn't have let me up, I, I can't get stuff out of his mouth unless he lets me, basically, because his jaw's really strong. But it's so funny. I can't believe it. If, if, his, if his lead hadn't been on, he'd have just been gone. He'd have been gone up the road and he'd have crossed the road on his own and he'd be trying to get into the building to where we live. Wow. Never ever seen him do anything like that before. I mean, he didn't, he couldn't get out because he was on the lead. I can't let him off the lead. He's, he's, he's just naughty. He's got his own mind, which is, it's nice. He, I mean, everyone's got their own mind, but he's just, he's just naughty. He's naughty. Just a naughty boy. Anyway, um, I did a live live uh, stream yesterday on my Facebook page, no, my Facebook group. So I've got a Facebook group called Jason Newland's Boring Group. And it's really just there for people who like to listen to my recordings uh, or my video, or watch my videos, whatever. So. Um, when I post stuff, if I do like a live stream, it'll be on there. I don't do it on a normal, I don't do it on a normal Facebook page, just on for the group. Although after I'd finished, I did upload it to YouTube as well. I could downloaded it and then uploaded it. Um, oh, but also it was a podcast as well, so I edited and everything, do, do all that stuff. So that was number, I don't know what number it was. Any any idea? Blimey, yeah. So this that was number 1,167. So this is 1,168. Blimey, it's a mouthful, isn't it? So that was Q&A Friday yesterday, and it was number 17. The 17th. Q and A Friday. <laughs> it's time just goes by. Absolutely amazing. <sighs> so what I thought I'd do today, because I haven't actually done too much. Oh, I need a drink. I've got a dry mouth. Um, yeah, so I thought I might go through because I got that Readly app for is it two months I've got it for? Or was it how long have I got it for? Yeah, I think it's two months free, and it's got. Uh, newspapers and magazines although I've looked through some of the magazines and there's some old ones on there they're not completely up to date with their mags but uh, not not with all of them especially the boxing the boxing monthly the last one was like two years ago or something which is ridiculous but the newspapers they're up to date on so I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through some of the newspapers the UK newspapers or the British newspapers or 
English newspapers, I don't know what you call them because I don't know how far they stretch. So we're going to start with the Daily Star and Saturday, July 27th, 2024. And it says here, proud to love animals, £1.60. That's the two aren't connected, the price. It's just how much the it's how much a paper costs. Wow. And you can get five pound off when you spend seventeen pound fifty on boots own brand products. Wow, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> so the front cover is talking about um Sinead O'Connor, there's a Madame Two Swords, I think I do believe, Madame Two Swords has done a waxwork of Sinead O'Connor and apparently her brother doesn't like it. Doesn't like the end result. Well, what they've done is they tried to clearly do a, do a version of her when she first became famous. They've not done a version of her when she was older. And... Uh, I don't know what the issue is. I, I'm not really sure because I'm looking at it and I don't think that the wax works are supposed to look identical to the person. Are they? I know. I, I mean, I know they're supposed to look like them, but ultimately, you can see that they're a wax work, and I think it looks quite good. Personally. It's just, it doesn't, I mean, I'd say the eyes aren't quite big enough. If you, if you know, looking at the video that she made, you know, nothing compares to that, that one. So, yeah, uh, so I think our brother's not very happy about that. You know what bugs me? It's just a little, it's a little, little bear bug, a little bed bug, whatever. Is when she um, left this planet, it was all this like, oh, she was how wonderful she was, and all this stuff. But I remember watching her on YouTube, and she was making vlogs on YouTube, and I think at the time she was living in a bed and breakfast or some hotel probably not due to financial but that's just where she was staying for, for whatever reason she had so many problems she was had serious mental health issues she was crying on these videos and hardly anybody was watching yeah and that was never mentioned I didn't ever see anything of that on the news or in the newspapers or anything or online so where all these people, all these newspaper people and everything, when she was in need of help. You know? I don't know. What do I know? But yeah, I just found that a bit weird. That's it's a bit like um you might you might not know this, but uh when Princess Diana uh, also left the planet, she the next day she was the English Rose and she was this uh, she was the England's daughter and all, yeah she was like almost like a saint the way the newspapers and the press were talking about her but literally the build up to her passing they were horrible to her absolutely vile to her like on a scale that is, I'd say, probably worse than the way they're treating uh, Meghan Markle, Princess Meghan. Uh, I don't care. Look, oh, you take away, oh, they're taking away the thing. Prince Harry isn't Prince. Yeah, he is. The king's son is a prince. That's the way it works. Just because he's not getting paid by the rules anymore and he lives in another country. He's still Prince Harry. So there. <laughs> That's all I've got to say on that. Um, on the actual day, 
in uh, I don't know what month it was now in 1997 when we lost uh, Princess Diana I came home because I just watched New Jack City on video and I turned it off and I was to see all this stuff on the news I was like what and then I kept it was like on every channel apart from channel 5 or maybe channel 4 but it was on most of the channels like everything was just stopped and it was this live footage and like ah uh? and I walked home I was in disbelief to be honest and like I suppose most people that was watching it so I got home after it had all the result had been announced I got home went to the newspaper to get to, went to the news agents to get a, a newspaper thinking I could read a little bit more about it but the, the new the newspaper that was out was the uh, early copy the one that they had printed the night before so they hadn't got the I think they just no they hadn't got the new one in yet so the new copy of the paper was going on about we've lost the most wonderful person in this world it really like really nice stuff but the original paper for that day had her on water skis with her boyfriend and they were proper having a go at her as they had done the whole week leading up to that so I just find that and it's, I've never forgotten that I always remember that now I wish I'd got a copy of that newspaper just to keep hold of it just to remind me well, I've got my memory I suppose whatever use that is but because the internet wasn't really around then. I mean, it was around, but it was almost like a little toddler, the internet in this country. It was, I don't think I'd even heard of the internet at that point. And it was all kind of, there's no, there's no newspaper articles that I can find. I mean, they'll be somewhere it's online, I guess, if you know where to search, but I can't, don't know where to look. I'd like to see that original front cover just to make sure that I'm not lying to myself. So anyway, let's get back to some nice stuff. Some newspapers, what nice stuff. All well, the honours at last. So here we go. A World War II hero finally receives his long overdue service medal on his 99th birthday. Harry Philby, who served as an RAF radio operator, was eligible for the War Medal 1939-45, but never applied for it. So staff at Elga Care, who support Harry in his home in, I don't know why they're saying where he lives, put in a request for the medal as a birthday present for him. So it was given to him and uh, by someone, a colonel, uh, so that's nice isn't it I had to wait till he was 99 though cause, so it makes you, how old is he then probably would have been in his 20s wouldn't he in 45 70 is it 70 years ago blimey so petrol pumps rip off ok Esther finance holders nope so Ricky Munch phobia. Ricky Gervais used to scoff his Sunday roast on the stairs by himself as he hated listening to other people eating. Really? The office and afterlife creator, I don't know why I have to put that, we know who he is, uses earplugs on airplanes and in restaurants as he cannot stand people's noises. When Ricky, or Ricky 63, confessed, When I was a teenager, I used to eat my Sunday roast alone on the stairs because I couldn't stand the noise of everyone eating. Didn't they already say that at the beginning? Why are they repeating themselves in the article? It's such a tiny article. Ricky Gervais used to scoff his sun Sunday roast on the stairs by himself as he hated listening to other people eating. 
And then a few a paragraph down, Ricky confesses, when I was a teenager, okay, they hadn't mentioned teenager in the first sentence, but I used to eat my Sunday roast alone on the stairs. He used to eat his coffee Sunday roast on the stairs by himself, alone on the stairs because I couldn't stand the noise of everyone eating. It's like a... Uh, Ricky says he has confronted people on planes for making irritating noises, including yawning. Really? Well, why are you not flying first class? And why don't you just rent a private plane? You've got enough money. If you're, if you're, if you're Ricky, Ricky, if you, if you, Ricky, are in a plane with us not mere mortals, then tough, put up with the noise. If you're in first class, I can't imagine you're really going to be around that many people. I don't know. I mean, I've walked through first class to get to where I was sitting, and I know you're not like, there's not just one seat in the whole of first class, there are other seats, but you'd think you'd go, it, it, the thing is, right, okay, how on earth, what kind of plane is he, is he traveling on? Is it some kind of electric plane with a silencer on? Because you can't hear nothing on a plane, it's too noisy. Apart from the fact that your ears are, your ears are kind of blocked anyway from being up so high, they're not, ears are not working necessarily correctly, I can't hear someone, someone's mouth in a seat opposite me, or you know, it's too, too, it's too, too, too much noise from the plane. <sighs> Adrian Charles hopes he'll be resurrected as Kino Ruse when what? That's just a pointless story. I'm not going to read it out. Oh, okay. This is important. Danny. D-A-N-I. Daredevil Danny is trying a new water sport this summer. Parasailing. The plucky 25-year-old Londoner says, I love sailing above the sea and waving all the sunbathers on... on uh, waving at... At the sun babies on Brighton Beach. Be careful, Danny. We know living a high life can be exhilarating, but we've heard parasailing can be a real drag. And there's a picture of her um, in a bikini. Well, and a top. You guys are really, really surprised because these are page three girls, but they're not. They used to be topless. In the old days, but they're not anymore, which I'm really glad for because nothing I nothing I dislike more than seeing a naked woman. Oh, I, I it just you know no, just really makes me angry. Um, when I used to when I was a security guard and one of my jobs was at the Mirror Group, they had models coming in to do glamour modelling you know well sort of pictures for the newspaper and stuff like that and I swear I've never seen anything like it the the amount of makeup I know it's because of the, the because of the lighting and because of the, the cameras and stuff like that but they looked awful looked really really bad I'm sure, you know, look good on camera, but I'm, just, I'm talking with the makeup on, not themselves, but the makeup was so thick. It was, I remember one woman, she, she walked out of the lift. Her face walked out of the lift five minutes before her body. It, it just, <laughs> I thought, oh, that's silly. I hope there's not someone at the door. I get so annoyed when people will knock on my door. 
Da wo ich nur noch nochmal da gehe. Never know, do you? So yeah, um, I think the way they do it, I think that the reason for all the makeup, and it's the same with TV as well, people on TV have got loads of makeup on, they're trying to make the person look how they do in real life on camera. I think that's my understanding, so they try and have to put makeup on to try and make them look how they do before the makeup. That made sense to me when I said it. Here's the next thing. On tape, Haunting Wails of a Monster. The It's about the Loch Ness Monster, ladies and gentlemen. The Loch Ness Monster could be a ghost of a ghost. Could be a ghost. A pair of paranormal investigators claim. Well, that's interesting. Marky HK for... Okay. So that's it. I can't bother to read it. Um, bosses at WWE are hoping to bring WrestleMania to the UK for the first time. For the first time, they have held talks with the Mayor of London, Sidi Khan, about the move. WWE are hoping to bring WrestleMania to the UK for the first time. Now, I'm pretty sure... Okay, WWE. So it's saying there they're hoping. Is that right? Okay. WWE are hoping to bring WrestleMania. Oh, WrestleMania. Okay, let's have a check. Because WWE. There's no windows open, so how did... Oh, there is. I've got a wasp in, in the curtains. So WWE is already booked in November. July, August and November in London. So... So I'm going to put WrestleMania. WrestleMania events in UK past 10th of October ready 10th of October the first WWF oh okay so is it not class is it because it used to have a different name is that where they're going so WWE WWE, WrestleMania in London, Boris Johnson, Dead Keen, I'm bringing W for Wembley Stadium. And this was back in 2016. Try and host flagships. I'm pretty sure they have done it because they've definitely, WWF came in. Has, Russia, has WrestleMania ever been in the UK? Is set to be held as a London becomes first ever international host. Star. Okay, maybe it hasn't then. All right, okay. I just WWF. Oh, I've got a wasp in here. Right, I just had a wasp, but managed to get it out of the window. So yeah, let's move on from that then. WrestleMania, <laughs> WrestleMania hasn't been here before. I thought that it had. Fans do not go gaga for poor games, according to this. Uh, angry fans say that the Paris Olympics open ceremony was the worst in history. Um, okay. Opening games are the worst in history. So let's have a look. My question is... Right. Okay. What about the 1936 Olympic Games in Germany? 
Huh? So, would that not be a little bit of a worse opening? Because that had Hitler in it. Yeah, just, you know, just trying to get a bit of perspective. <laughs> They're moaning. Apparently, Celine Dion, well, I watched it, so she did, but Celine Dion, I didn't watch the opening, I watched Celine Dion, a clip, and she's got her voice back because she's got a, um, an illness or something that affects well, her whole body, and I thought that she'd lost her voice completely because she did a like a, I don't know, a documentary on a, was it on Netflix, I think, I didn't watch it, there was a lot of people talking about it, and she's, she was singing, <gasps> oh, I've got hiccups now, brilliant, <sighs> I tell you, this newspaper got right in for France, because uh, that's where the Olympics is, Vinny just farted. Did you hear that? Wow. Uh, Brits left hungry for more. Brits are sneaking out of the Olympic village for grub after moaning the food is horrible. Competitors from most nations have been unimpressed by meals dished up in the Paris Accommodation Centre where 10,500 are shacked up. Wow, that's a lot of people. Some claim they have been served raw meat. Many have gone hungry after being hit by a shortage of staples like eggs and chicken. Brit athletes have been heading to the Team GB's HQ two miles away to dine in its restaurants where chefs are rustling up food. Why aren't they just eating there anyway? Why don't they make sandwiches for the day? One, <laughs> one British athlete said, the food is a challenge. They are not as organised as you'd expect. You try feeding 10,500 people. Go on, try. What? Mick Jagger and his partner, Melanie Hamrick, hit Paris for a special party on the eve of the Games. The 80-year-old and his girlfriend, 37, were among the famous faces at Louise Foutine's prelude. So, 37. So he was, what, 43 when she was born. Is that right? Blimey. Oh, good luck to him. 80 years old, though. I mean, he definitely had some good genes, didn't he? Or well, has some good genes to be able to be as active as he has done all these years. I and mean, wow. So, boffins, th this is a newspaper that likes to use the word boffins at any opportunity basically just means scientists, pe professional people with knowledge, boffins. Boffins Martian life find. NASA may have found signs of ancient life in a rock on Mars. The Perseverance rover has come across an intriguing arrowhead shaped rock that hosts chemical signatures and structures boffins reckon boffins <laughs> uh, reckon they could have been formed by micro microbial life billions of years ago when mars was significantly wetter than it is today they might have been i mean anything might have been mightn't it so, um, Kat Deedy shows off her svelte figure in a black bikini in the beach in St. Tropez. 
I don't know why that is. I mean, it just seems a bit. What? What? What's the point in that? What is the point? I mean, Cat Dealey, she, she was a big star in the UK, and then she went to America. Didn't she do the Dance on Ice or something in America? So she's been gone for years and years and years. I'm not sure what she does. I think she came back here to do some stuff. She's, oh, this morning. She hosts this morning now. But she, she's gone forever. And she was a big star in this country. Good bit. She was very funny. She used to do a TV show on Saturday mornings with Anton Deck. And they were very funny, all, all three of them. Really funny together. But why are they showing her in a bikini? Or just stop it. What's that? Why? Uh, Svelte. It's a strange name, that. Svelte. It sounds like it could be an insult, doesn't it? Svelte. Svelte. Anyway, AI will let you talk to the dog. So, top vet predicts future. We can all predict the future every day because he's a top vet. We'll be able to speak to our pets in the future thanks to AI, a top vet has claimed. The prediction was made by Dr. Jess French. See, they've only used this story because the person's surname is French, I bet you, who has degrees in zoology, veterinary science, and veterinary medicine. Dr. Jess, who has also written 24 books and presents mini, mini beast adventures on CBBs, said at some point in the future we're going to be able to communicate with animals. Potentially dogs are going to come into the vets and instead of having a conversation with its caregiver, I might just be speaking directly. <laughs> Maybe. Ruff, ruff. Oh, i ruff, ruff, ruff. Potentially, dog, um, maybe through some sort of technology. We're collecting loads and loads of data about how animals communicate, which is not always through sounds. So we're establishing loads of data. So you'll have to get on your all fours and have to sniff and all that stuff that dogs do. I mean, it's, yeah, it's very likely that they will be able to in the future, but it's just... They couldn't just find, like, a, a vet. Or someone in AI, though it's like it had to be a, a TV vet, didn't it? Fury is flying after friend star Jennifer Aniston blasted running over, uh, suggesting oh, mo she's moaning about some politics sessions for suggesting that America is run by childless cat ladies. Wow, <laughs> um. So yeah, I, d I don't know. It's petty, I think is the right words. But okay, right, so let's move there. Oh, actually, it's weird. Once you see, there's a picture of Sinead O'Connor's... Um, yeah, there's a picture of her when she was young and there's a picture and there's a picture next to her, her, her brother who's a real... Well, a... a li a human next to the wax dog that, and it doesn't it looks like a mannequin to be honest mannequin 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 that's what it looks like it doesn't really um, like very pale I mean she did have some colour but then in that video she didn't did she everything compares to you that, that there was no colour in her face in that that uh, video. If that was, wasn't it black and white? Was it black and white? I'm not sure. Fashion lover is all ears. A special effects makeup artist has taken to wearing a third ear on her neck as a. F <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Whew. A fashion ec effect ex a special effects face a special effect to make up artist <laughs> I'm looking at the picture this is just this is 
She's wearing a third ear on her neck as a fashion accessory. Paige Cole, who worked on major productions like Bridgerton and Doctor Who, Christmas, but I don't know. Well, the 26 year old from South London says, I've always liked incorporating fashions with special effects and getting body arts improved. The idea just came to me after being inspired of an Australian by an Australian artist who had an ear surgically implanted on his forearm. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? I th- I just why? 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 That's just that's all I got to say for that. Is I I always thought it must be a cool body modification. Cool to who? Cool to who? I said it one more time. <laughs> Who's it cool to? I I don't know honestly. Wow. Anyway, um. So what's next? Wardy's wages on sale now. Queen Elizabeth II, her last in legacy. It's a magazine. Um, okay, cool. Let's show horses out. Let let's show horses out. So it was reported this week that eight people had the whip removed from them. Seven were labor off um, the Olymp the square the equus equestrian equestrian star withdrew before the Olympics started after footage emerged of a ho- a major horse being wow okay I don't know what the rules are for stuff like that anymore I don't I've never really I've never really been a horsey type I think horses are beautiful I mean generally I think they're be- beautiful beautiful beings I just I've never I don't think my legs can open that wide at the top uh, I don't I mean I think I got on a donkey once on a beach and I remember my dad pulling me off saying no we're not paying you can go just like no, just get on a hawk get on a get on a dog or something it was very high up. I remember that because I was little. I was always little. It's very because I'm only you don't realise because you can't can't see me. Although I'm you know quite quite heavy, I'm only four foot two. So it's you know getting onto a horse. The thing is not worth it though because you're going to go to. You go to you go away to uh, what's it to the beach or whatever for a day out, and my dad said no more donkey rides, and I said why not, and he said not till you're older. I said why? He said not till you're big enough. I said what do you mean not big enough? I'm big enough. I I was on the I was on the donkey, so I was obviously big enough. He said no, you don't get it. Not till you're big enough to carry the ladder yourself all day long. Because I'm not doing it anymore. So, titanium, titanium, wow, a, a, a human, a human, don't know why they're specifying human, wouldn't be a story of it, would it, if it wasn't a human? A human has successfully received a titanium heart. The Bivacor, I love these stories, I love stories like this, absolutely do. I'm excited. I can feel a twitch. Honestly, I'm I'm excited. For this the Bivacor total artificial heart using magnetic levitation or maglev technology with the same principle found in high speed trains. Blimey. I don't know what any of that means. I know what train trains are. It will be used for patients in Oh, okay. So it's like a, it's um, like it's a temporary heart in between the heart they got and the new heart. So it's a temporary one. Wow. So you had it for eight days. Wow. 
No, okay, it's probably a really silly question. It's just come interested. Was he allowed out of the hospital, or did or did he have to stay in the hospital? Probably had to stay in. The hospital. <laughs> it's probably a really silly question. Probably is, but it just seems like wow, phenomenal. That is, isn't it? Isn't that phenomenal? Don't you think? That's like wow. Oh well. So, it's some of the technology is amazing. Well, a lot of technology. Tom Hanks, Michelle Obama, and Jennifer Aniston are among the celebrity gurus. Brits take life advice from on social media. So this is the second time in the magazine that Jennifer Aniston has been mentioned in this paper today. A study found 32% keep tabs and Michelle Obama as well. Study, study found 32% keep tabs on famous faces, profiles. No, just boring. I tell you what I don't understand, like with um, the new, what's her name? I can't remember her name now. She's one of the trying to become prime minister, prime president or whatever in America, a female. Um, Harris, something Harris. Kamara, Kala, Kamara or something Harris. It's just all these people coming out saying, yes, I... Uh, the Obamas say, yeah, we, we, we back her. So? What's that got to do with anything? You're not prime minister. You're not, you're not, you're not involved. Why, why are you, why are you getting involved? <laughs> and then, what's her name? Uh, oh, JZ's wife. She's like, yes, I, I bless, I bless her to, 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 you know, try and become the president. Oh, she has my blessing. She doesn't need your blessing. Why does she need your blessing? Are they, are they, sp what? She's a singer. She's a very famous singer. She's a very brilliant singer. But what, what's that got to do with, why does she, why does a, a politician need the blessings of former politicians or former politicians' wives or celebrities or singers or actors. Why Why would they need that? We don't have that in this country. Nobody that runs, that tries to become prime minister in this country gets anyone's blessings or backing. <laughs> no, none of them are liked. We don't like any of them. It was this time round... It was a case of just who's 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 the least annoying. You know, no one wanted to. They they wanted the the Tories out. The government, the the country clearly wanted um, the Conservatives out. I don't think many people wanted Labour in. They just wanted the Tories out. We had to make do with Labour. I think Labour, the, the Labour people, because now they've been in for, what, three weeks? It was the beginning of this month, 4th of July, so it's now 27th. They should come out. They promised all this, like, we're not putting taxes up, all this stuff during the build-up, the six-week build-up to the election. I think they should come out and say, uh, just let you know that we're going to put taxes up because there's nothing you can do about it. We're in now. We're going to be in for the next five years. And there's now you can do. So suck it up. <laughs> Just be honest. Instead of like, oh, making excuses, it doesn't matter. They've got the majority. They can push stuff through. So Just be honest. We lied. Sorry about that. We lied to you. We knew we were going to have to put taxes up, but hey. Hey ho. Just be honest. I kind of respect them for that. It'd be funny. Well, kind of funny. Anyway, drugs. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Heat home. M heat home. Mandy away. Amanda Holden. Enjoys his son on a break in Greece while things heat up at home. 
The Britain's Got Talent judge, 53, wore a pink bikini as temperatures are set to soar this weekend. So they've got a picture of her sunbathing, unaware that anyone's taking pictures, of course, and just so they can talk about it, it's going to be hot tomorrow. Wow. I mean, to be fair, I thought that this would have been... Because the, the, this is the kind of newspapers that used to be around when I was a kid, and I'm surprised they're still going. But I guess it's nice to have a little bit of light, a lightness, you know, in the, you know, yeah. Oh, look, top 10 singles, the official singles charts. So you got number 10 is Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. Number 9 is Expresso by Sabrina Carpenter. Austin is number 8 by Dasha. Then you got number 7, Angel of My Dreams, Jade. Number 6, Houdini by Eminem. And Eminem. Uh, you got number 5, Stargazing. Miles Smith. Number four is Who by Jimin. You got number three in the charts, the singles charts. Good Luck Babe by Chappelle Roan. You got number two is Birds of a Feather by Billie Eilish. And then you got number one is Please, 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 Sabrina Carpenter. Okay, in the top 10 albums, 50 Years by Fleetwood Mac. Blimey, 50 years. Well, how long have they been going? Um, the highlights, The Weekend. Hit Me Hard and Soft, Billie Eilish. The Rise and Fall, Chappelle Roan. Brat by Charlie XCX. I Love You So, F dash 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 ing much by glass animals that's number five number four the tortured poets by taylor swift that's her album third album number three is heavy jelly by soft play and number two is guts by olivia rodrigo and number one is The Death of Slim Shady by NMN. Eminem, rather. Ah. So I wonder how long Fleetwood Mac have been going then. It's amazing I've got an ad a new album called 50 Years. Wow. I wonder why they called it that. So Fleetwood Mac's Nikki shed light any health issues that forced her to show some shows. Uh, Netflix hit One Day is sporting its own album the story following the relationship of Emma and Dexter over the course of 20 years I've never heard of One Day I'm not on Netflix at the moment anyway so I don't mean right now I'm talking about I haven't got Netflix <laughs> Wired so this is uh, what else Bruce Springsteen helped a couple get engaged at Wembley mid-performance The Boss spotted a sign in the crowd reading my boyfriend will propose if he can have your harmonica and he happily handed it over i think that's good considering bruce stringstein is about 76 that his eyesight will be able to catch the um like a sign in a in a crowd of hundreds so was it you put it out and he's not 76 Bruce Spring you really you really think so okay let's have a look let's have a look everybody come on you think I'm lying you think all I do is lie well actually I don't sometimes I've told the odd little lie he's 74 okay I'm less I'm less I'm over one year on, on, off but I said 76 he's 74 come on I mean I think it's fair to say he's been fairly successful. <laughs> fairly. 
So anyway, uh, so good for him. Empire Dragon It Out. Monster songs. Blame Dragon. Blame Dragons for the... For... Blame Dragons for the eight-year delay in New Empire the Sun. I don't know what that's talking about. I don't know who they are. I'm so out of touch. Out of touch, out of touch, out of touch. Right, let's have a look. Ice isn't frosty. So this is rapper Ice Spice turned frosty as she defended her friendship with Taylor Swift. Why does she have to? Why is she defending anything? Why? I, 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 I don't get it. Spicing up the cover of Rolling Stone, she hit back at trolls claiming the superstar only became pally with her for some clout. Ice, who collabed with Tay-Tay, who's Tay-Tay? On her Karma remix, blasted, which is so rude to me, why would you not want to be my friend? Uh, Taylor F's with me. She's so funny. I think our personalities mesh really well. Whose business is it? Leave them alone. I mean, wow. If you if you work right, oops, made noise now. If you work in a factory, you get to meet people in the factory, and you get to be friends with them. If you're on their shift rotor and you're working maybe opposite them or maybe just in the same room, you get to meet them and you might end up being friends with them. It's no different from a, a singer doing the same thing. You know, because you might be friends with a supervisor who is like a team leader, but maybe you're not in their lead, you're not in their group, in their team. But you might be friends and go out drinking or whatever. Have a friendship with them because you get on. So Taylor Swift was a higher profile person. But there's no reason she doesn't act. What, what's the rule that she can only have friends at her own level? Because there isn't many people at her own level. Because she's one of the top stars of the entire world and universe. It's like, oh, you can only be friends with five people. It's not fair. Leave. Taylor Swift alone. That's what I'm saying. Leave Tay Tay. <laughs> Tay Tay. Leave Tay Tay alone. Leave, uh, leave Ice Spice. Ice Spice. I don't know. I think I did see her on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure what she sounded like because I, I watched her on videos, but I turned the volume down. Bubbling Under. Forget third, fourth time the charm for Calvin Harris and Ellie Golding. Following three huge anthems with Ellie, the pair have re reunited for another dose of dance floor fun in the form of free. It's less trancier than last year's miracle, but it's guaranteed to get you groove going. No. I'm not, not really my thing, to be honest with you. I, don't, my, I never had a groove. My groove was never going. My groove's never been, never arrived. So here's the next one. Getting down and dirty. Christine Aguilera spilled out she is that she's a loud, proud member of the Mar High Club. So why are they saying dirty? Like the dirty song was from what? Twenty years ago. I mean, that a lot of people wouldn't even know that reference. Anyway, no stranger to a bumpy or indeed humpy ride. The pop star said she's often found herself on the cloud nine during a flight. Naughty ex Tina. What? Ex Tina Fest. Yes, multiple times. You have to. We spend a lot of time on planes. We got to figure it out and find ways to sneak in the phone. So, yeah. Um, is that what she named? Ex Tina. Is that what they call her? During an appearance on the Drew Barrymore show, The Mum of One. Okay, it's the same story. Right, now there's a story about Katy Perry. Has Katy Weddy and Raring to go? Katy Perry has given up an update on when she'll marry fiancé Orlando Bloom. The couple were due to tie the knot four years ago when she was expecting her daughter Daisy. 
now three, but had to postpone. She said, I was going to get married February 2, 27, 2020. But COVID happened and I had a really large credit at a venue that I'm, I'm going to use. What? I had a really large credit at a venue that I'm going to use. Katie says she'll also adjust her wedding dress now because there's no bump. I was pregnant. I was pregnant, so it was different. We're going to rework the whole thing. Um, she probably could get a different dress. I'm not. Uh, she might be able to afford it. I'm thinking. Mind you, it might be the dress that she's always wanted to get married in, or one of them. Um, for one of her marriages, uh, killer killer whales hunted me down like wolves. Sailor rescued his yacht. Is I saw that. Wow. Honestly. It was off the coast of Spain and this it's this yacht and literally this whale jumped up out of the yacht and just just landed on top of this yacht. Wow. Honestly, I've never seen anything like that apart from previous times I've seen stuff like that. So apparently sales of uh, champagne have gone down. Oh, oh well. Shane's to Bear, a black, a black bear and its cub destroyed a car after getting trapped inside. They got they got inside and became stuck. This is in America, and when they did open the door, they ran out, but they'd actually destroyed in. Well, there's a picture of the bear inside. I mean, it, it, yeah. That's nothing. <laughs> There's no news there. That's what I would expect. Oh. This is so... It's not cute, but you know what? There's this fox, and it's got his paws stuck in... It's got his arms stuck in a thing, and someone rescued it. Poor me, fox stuck in chair. Yeah, it's got in like the... Like a wooden chair, and the gaps, it got his paws stuck. I tell you what's weird, it looks up and it's got his head tilted exactly the way Vinny does. Vinny's basically a little fox. He is. There's no difference. He looks like a fox. It's a little bit different colouring. But he looks like a fox. He's got the same same nose, the same eyes. And the way it looks up, it's, he does that as, as well. It's oh. I know foxes aren't particularly... Uh, popular on farms and stuff and I understand I get that but they're just cute little things they just unfortunately they're um, a bit you know a little bit chicken crazy at times oh uh, Still want to? Oh, I still love that movie, Mr. Fox. You know, I I actually personally, on purpose, avoided watching that film, thinking, "Oh, this is going to be rubbish." Is going to be absolutely rubbish. Is it the amazing or the fantastic Mr. Fox? Such a good movie. It's so good, and I just. Just didn't expect it to be funny and didn't expect it to be good. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, watch it if you can. It's really, really good. TV. Okay, let's see what else. Bacteria. Few play areas left. To pee or not to pee. So this is interesting. Struggling arcade owners say canning copper coins could kill seaside towns. So the treasury apparently they've ordered no new one or two pences to be minted this year claiming that there's enough in circulation no one uses them I think it's, it's we're turning into a cashless society and gradually bit by bit and I'm part of that as well I I rarely use cash anymore just it's easier it's easier to keep track of the money I, I find like I've spent that 
I can look at the look at my bank app, see how much I got left, rather than go all the way into my pocket. <laughs> and it's not maybe it's probably not easier, but it is quicker. So it's easier. I just um, and it's yeah, and also someone knocks on the door saying, "Can you lend me five pounds?" I said, "No, I ain't got none." Sorry, well, it's always a score because you can't get much for five pound. So, um, what else? Dolly's dishes. Dolly party partner partner part parton enjoys a picnic with some favourite food. She seventy eight. Wow. Blimey. I don't know if it's her daughter or yeah, a, a beloved sister Rachel. I mean, she, she. I know that Dolly's. I mean, I know she's had a lot of um, work done in that, but seventy-eight. I think seventy-eight. It's not old anymore. Seventy isn't. It isn't what it used to be. It used to be old, but it's not anymore. I'm just repeating myself, really. I know. It's just not old anymore. It used to be. When I was a kid, seventy was like wow, but now it's it's just. This doesn't seem old anymore. What? Jow. Wow. Jail for a cop who mugged a dead man. A metropolitan police officer pleaded guilty to stealing money for a, from a wallet of a man who collapsed. Wow. Blimey. Oh, so he, he received the, the wallet as evidence in the police station. He just helped himself. So he didn't actually... He didn't mug anyone. But he, he took money from the wallet. So it's not a mugging. It's... If you've... Yeah, that's very different from being mugged. Heroes just for one day. David Bowie fans pay tribute to their hero as they gathered at an annual convention celebrating the singer. Music lovers showed off their Aladdin, Sane and Sibby, Siggy Stardust style face paint. Aladdin Zane. I don't remember the Aladdin Zane. I know Ziggy. What? Fawn to be wild. That's the headline. A fawn licks its lips while eyeing some blackberries. The wild black tailored tailed deer was spotted in a thicket, a country road near Ecton in Oregon, US. Its mum was also browsing through the selection of fruit on brambles. How how is that a story? I mean, it's cute to look at. I, I don't know why that's a story. That's It's half of a page. I, I'm pretty sure they got a bit of a slow news day today. Or yesterday, because it's yesterday's news, isn't it? A former prisoner... Uh, wild kids... Uh, Top 20 ways children embarrass their parents. Okay, let's read this. Um, number one, running away or wandering off when they're being told not to. I had that with my, um, she's my, it's like my goddaughter. She's my friend's daughter. At the time, I actually thought she was my daughter as well, but it didn't turn out to be the case. And um, I picked her up from school because I used to go to the school with a mum and pick her up you know, once or twice a week. And on this occasion, her mum said, I'll oh, just pick her up with you because she couldn't get out. I don't know if she was unwell or she was stuck somewhere. So I went and picked her up. She ran. She looked at me. She screamed and shouted, get away from me, get away from me, and ran. It's a jo- it was a joke. But I can't believe it. It's like... I mean, the people at the school knew me anyway. They few of them had seen me like going there with their mum and that, but still, it was very awkward. 
<laughs> Very. Uh, right, screaming's the next one. So there she did that. Three, commenting or out loud on other people around them with no filter. Well, I've seen adults do that. I've seen lots of adults do that. I've seen teenagers do that. I've seen people of all ages. There seems to be a thing now, and I don't know what it is. I say now because I don't remember it being like this in the past. It might be. Where there's a degree of a lack of awareness when it comes to other people being there. It almost as if when you talk out loud, no one else can hear except the person you're talking to. In fact, I've even heard people say out loud something about me when I'm with them. And I said, what? She said, oh, are you listening to that? I said, what do you mean were you listening? She said, well, a lot of people don't listen. A lot of men don't listen. I, do, do, I just say stuff. She, she's like saying that under her breath, but like thinking that I wouldn't hear it. I hear everything. Well, I don't hear everything, but I don't, the things I don't... I can't tell you the things I don't hear because um, <laughs> I don't hear them. But I listen when someone's saying something. Even when it's not interesting, I'll, I'll pretend to listen at least. So having to carry them kicking and screaming in public, that's one of the worst. Yeah, that's not good. Spilling food or drink everywhere in a restaurant or cafe. Well, we all, all can do that, can't we? Kicking off when every other child is behaving perfectly. Number seven, having a strop by sitting down and not moving. Number eight, yeah, Vinny does that. Number eight, clinging on and refusing to let go when they don't want to do something. <laughs> Vinny does that. Refusing to let another child have a turn on something. Vinny does that as well. So she with balls, don't you, Vin? Hey, don't you? Yes, you do. Turn your head and look cute for me. Turn your head and look cute. That's it. Yes, you can. Refusing to let another child have a turn. Okay. Repeating a private conversation you weren't supposed to share. Well, you know, that's worth remembering because if you've got a kid, they are learning from you all the time. Not you who is listening, but saying they're learning from the adults they're around. When the kids as well, so... If you don't want them to repeat something, don't say it. Opening the toilet door when you're on the loo and other people are there. <laughs> That's funny. Um, knocking something fragile off a shelf in a supermarket or shop. Yep. Repeating something you said in front of the person you were talking about. Yeah, that goes back to what, you know, number 10, repeating a private conversation. But yeah. I mean, it's... It's an interesting to have that happen. Swearing, especially if you're the one they're talking about. Number 14, swearing without realising they said a rude word. Well, I, again, my goddaughter, she said to me, uh, she said, you know, you know what, you know what, Jason, you're, you're a twat. I said, really? And she said, Jason, I said, what? She said, what's a twat? I said, what? I said you don't, <laughs> just like, so she called me, a naughty word but she didn't know what it was or what it meant I'm not sure what it meant I can't remember hiding is something to do with um, knobbly knees or something uh, hiding in rails of clothes in a shop and jumping out as strangers <laughs> I used to do that singing at the top of their lungs having no clean up when they've been sick wetting themselves when they're too old to be doing so Never too old for that. Never too old. I've wet myself. Sometimes I just do it for fun. Calling you fat in public. Well, I call myself fat, so it's fine. Arguing with a sibling. That never stops. I still do it with my brother. And he's, he's what, 63 now, I think. My youngest brother. I think the... Um, seeing the top of the lungs, hiding the rails... Tell this story, and I was, I don't know how old I was, I was very young. I was holding hands with my mum, right? And it's one of my earliest memories. 
I'm holding hands with my mum. We're in like a supermarket or somewhere like that or shopping centre. And I'm talking to her. And I think she stopped and talked to someone else. And I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, probably eating a sweet. Then I hold her hand and we walk on, carry on, whatever. And I start talking to her. So I look up and I ask her a question. There's no answer. And I look up. It's a different person. There's a different woman holding my hand. And she looked down. I don't know who was most scared, me or her. And I don't know. I think I had to sort of... I mean, maybe my mum sold me and it's possible, but it's really weird. I had to try and like, find my mum. Where are you? Where are you? Very strange. It actually happened. I think it did. Oh, right. We're getting through this, but it's taken ages. 5% off. 12 and a half. Uh, uh, Ronnie. Autographs of famous names from the Beatles to Freddie Mercury have fetched a total of 78,000 pounds. Oh, on this day in history, July 27th. So, 12 years ago, the Olymp London Olympic, the London, the London Olympic Games opened. Wow, 12 years ago. 12 years ago? Are you sure? I'm sure it was 2011. It was 2012, wasn't it? I don't know where I was. I didn't see it anyway. 2012. I must have seen it. Where was I in 2012? I know where I was, but why didn't I watch the Olympics? I don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't think I was, yeah. So that was 22 years ago. Okay, no, 28 years ago. No, it's just talking about horrible things that have happened. Stop it. Uh, 32 years ago. Record deal. Striker Alan Shearer, footballer, becomes England's most expensive footballer in a 3.6 million transfer. 32 years ago. Now they get that a week, I think. Uh, 37 years ago. Uh, this is just wrong. Because it's so long ago, I mean. Rick Ashley's hit. The pop star's song, Never Gonna Give You Up, is released. It would go on to be a number one hit around the world for about 50 years. 37 years ago. Oh, wow. 75 years ago, the first flight. So the British made de Havilland Comet the world's first commercial jet-powered airliner makes its maiden flight at Hatfield in England. So England, we were the ones that had the first flight. Wow. Uh, there's a hero. Who would, I mean, who would want to be on that? Uh, obviously the pilots because the pilots have got I'm pretty sure they've got parachutes and stuff but that would be uh, I don't know if I'd be on the want to be on the first flight it's like, it's like a tester isn't it I know they have to test vigorously but uh, 130 foot Vincent Van Gogh passes away 134 years ago 330 years ago, Bank of England founded. The nation's central bank was established by Parliament for the first time, originally with the purpose of raising funds to fight a war against France. <laughs> See, they admit there's stuff like that. It, they like to, it's like a thread. They like to keep mentioning France in some way because that's where the Olympic Games is. So they're talking about the Olympic Games this time in his. I mean, this day in history. Ah, oh dear. I'm trying to think. What else caught by the bell? 16, Netflix. 
Netflix, Netflix can't kill the theatre. Playwright James Graham is confident Netflix will not destroy the theatre because you actually have to leave home for it. The Dear England writer, yeah, at the moment. But when when they start showing it live, live, um, which I'm surprised that streaming hasn't really done that, give people the opportunity to watch live shows like every time you know to film every single show that they have not just like a one off show and like you know and sell that just let people watch it because every show is going to be different every theatrical performance is going to be different even if it's the same show it's going to be different everyone's going to be different it's always going to have a little you know a change so I think that would go down quite well if they did sell they'd probably be able to because there's always going to be people who want to go and watch it so why not show it live have a whole like section so you could watch concerts you could watch stand up comedy live stream it live and then it's not saved you can't watch it again it's done once you've watched it it's gone and then if you want to stream it again you can you can watch another comedy show and stuff like that so you know it's things like that would be popular I do believe another great idea of mine but does anyone do it? no and I don't mean on TV I'm talking about streaming maybe YouTube or something like that and just have a comedy club but proper you know charge five ninety nine or four ninety nine a pay-per-view to what to have a night of comedy and have like top comedians in a comedy club or uh, to watch a th- uh, Shakespeare or whatever you like to watch or live an opera and just like charge minimal amount for and three night two pound 99 something like that but they get millions of people watching it or hundreds of thousands of people watching it or thousands even it's like filling the theatre hundreds of times and the people who go to watch it in the theatre are still going to go and watch because they're the ones that like going into the theatre I don't think anyone personally, I don't think anyone goes to a theatre to watch a, uh, a play because they can't watch it on telly because most plays especially old plays you can watch movies of them, can't you? Anything like, uh, I don't know, traditional plays, whatever. I like the Rocky Horror Show, for example. People don't go to the Rocky Horror Show or to watch Grease or something like that because they want to see the storyline because they're interested in what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. They go it because it's a sing song, it's a sing along, it's a it's dressing up, it's fun apparently anyway uh, that's nearly the end of this recording don't meddle with paranormal st- oh here we go Olympic also hosts a spooky goings on says that's that's good um, should we do the crossword I can even hear, hear everyone going Okay, fair enough. Right, there's a watch there for sale, so no. How much are they charging for that? How much? Two thousand. Honouring 100 years of... 100 years of remembrance. Lest we forget. Men's gold watch. So, it's remembering the first world war or something lest we forget 100 years it make it have a bit more meaning if there'd be nothing since like let's not forget the last time we had well no that wasn't the first one world war was it you know we clearly the world hadn't learnt five interest free installments of £39.99 that's only £199.95 plus £9.99 SNS. 
So not postage and packing. S and S. What's that? Shitting and shipping. I, I don't know. What is it? Team G. Okay. I think we need to do my horoscope and then just go because this is this is pretty much done now. Chisora adores being the king of the ring. He's never been a king of the ring, but he is. He's definitely been entertaining. Well, okay. So that'll be on anyway soon. So see if I can go. Where's I'm in the sports now, so I don't think there's I don't think there's any horoscopes. Where's the horoscope, baby? Where's the horoscope? I want the horoscope. Oh TV, TV, TV. TV, TV. Where's the horoscope? This it's got all the TV guide for the whole week. Oh, that's what it is. Oh yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. This is Russell Grant. So Virgin, uh, August twenty fourth to September twenty third. You'll discover a group, club, or activity that brings people together with like minded interests. Before jumping in look carefully they could put you in touch with an old friend enemy or an ex-lover I haven't got any old friends ex what? love what? what's that? Huh. anyway so that's today's news well that's yesterday's news to be fair so thank you thank you for listening Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.